Hate printers? Like beating your meat? Fed up with a wife's selfishness? Want to get rid of a dead body? Well then, welcome to Princess Sin. But first, if you want more video reviews like this one, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. Working from home, nice. Your boss is still a royal pain and demands you to send him his report within two weeks. That would be fine usually, but your printer is less than reliable. Off to the shops you go, specifically the printer shop, where you can find all your printer needs at a cost. Things are extremely expensive, and all you have enough money for is a small packet of snacks. Drastic times call for drastic measures, and you must sell your furniture, belongings, and even the baby to make a quick buck. Watch out for the nagging wife though, if she catches you even removing items, let alone selling them, she'll bend your ear off and send your pulse soaring. Once your pockets are brimming full of cash, you can buy the necessary goods needed to fix the printer. Your to-do task needs your attention and must be completed if you want to please your boss. Of course, being a printer, it always breaks down and you need to find the money to fix it. Repairing the printer might include ink replacement, removing paper jams or something even more serious. The troubles of the day weigh you down and your anger increases when you must sell your hard-earned goods, the wife is on your back or the printer just won't play ball. If your anger reaches boiling point, you'll take it out on the printer. Then a new day starts again. Repeat and start again. Of course, there are other things to do whilst at home. You can interact with objects, search cupboards, Move items and combine them and place things in your inventory. There might even be some hidden treasures to discover or secret hiding places along with general maintenance of the house. Your mood can be improved through some reading of mail which drops through your letterbox. This can fill in a bit of backstory about your life, or just offer some light entertainment. The problem with the game comes when you have sold all your items and you run out of ways of making cash. This happens quite soon in the game, and you'll end up with a lot of bare rooms. The printer hardware is so expensive that any further failures of the printer renders the game almost unplayable. A new day doesn't alleviate this problem, it just makes it worse as you start with the same problems, no belongings, but now you've got a broken printer to, re to repair as well. When your rage levels increase, the screen starts shaking, which is really annoying and off-putting. It begins shaking quite early and gets worse as you get more irate, so you spend a fair chunk of the game watching a vibrating screen. Even though I didn't solve the mystery of the safe combination or how to replace the fuses, I just about had enough by this point and I didn't feel like I wanted to carry on. I didn't particularly enjoy the Groundhog Day mechanics and it wasn't a traditional point and click game I was expecting. If you want something mildly amusing but offbeat and quirky, it might appeal, but it didn't appeal much to me and I don't think therefore I could recommend it. 